All right, uh, hey, this is Coda again from Tutsaras, and uh, I'm a little tired right now, so some of this might not make sense. I'm not sure, but uh, hey, what's up? Um, so basically, this is uh, going to be a tutorial on running Hydra and brute forcing uh, a team speak. Basically, um, I'm going to go to down to CurseX.com, the forums, and I'm going to go download their. I'm going to download a post I made uh, about Hydra. It's on my rapture account, yeah. So I'm gonna click that shit. Mm -hmm. Loading, loading. I have a premium account because I'm pretty, I'm pretty much on it. Pretty much on it, guys. And I'm just gonna click that. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, save the file. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna pause it. All right. So it looks like our Hydra's done downloading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up, extract all the files to my folder. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we have all our files in here. See all these text, all of these text documents right here. If you open one up, it might take a while to load. Yeah, because it has tons of words in it. But these are the word lists that Hydra is going to use. Basically, what it does is it goes through each one of these and tries them as a password on the on the server that you're going to brute force. So it goes through this whole list and tries every single password individually with the usernames that you specify. And see, I've uh, I've added a couple of word lists into the into the folder just in case you don't want to. The larger the list, the longer it'll take to brute force with. So if you just want a quick server and you know the password, it'll probably be easy. You might want to use the 95 KB one. You know, you get my drift. So you, you can't just open Hydra like that. You can't just double click it. You have to go to start, which is all the way down here, start. And then you gotta go to run. CMD stands for command, for command prompt. Boom, open that shit up. Hell yeah. All right, so we have our command prompt right here, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna CD, which is basically changing the directory to the folder that we extracted Hydra in. In my case, it would be on our desktop. See right here? The easiest way to do that is to get your folder and type CD space and then just drag that baby in there and it'll, it'll just do the directory for you. Press enter and see how our directory changed from C documents to settings owner to C documents to setting owner slash desktop slash Hydra. It's where we extracted Hydra. Now, if you just type plain Hydra, you'll see it'll give us a list of commands that we could use. It gives us a syntax, which is how we execute them, Hydra, login, pass, but you know, you can look that over if you wanted. I'm just going to teach you how to do a team seek real quick, so yeah. Now, the command we type for team speaks is actually pretty simple if you think about it. Hydra to run Hydra minus L for login in this case login we're going to use Lenore because her password is very easy and I know it's in the word list so then we're going to type minus P with a capital for password list see the capital makes it so we can take it from a text file and just plain P means we already know password which is sort of pointless anyways and then we go into our Hydra directory. Do what I did exactly with the Hydra directory. You take the word list. In this case, we're going to use 10. And you drag the baby in there. All right. Then we go space. And then we go minus, I'm pretty sure it's S for port 8767, which is the port of the team speak that we're going to brute force. Then we go minus V, which is service. So in this case, our service would be TeamSpeak. And then at the very end of all this, we put in our IP, which is 24.141.235.235.204. All right. Now I'm going to go through this one more time. Hydra runs Hydra. Minus L stands for login, and then you put space, the login name. Minus capital P, 
is for your password list and what you do is you just drag your password list into the command prompt space minus s which is the port of the TeamSpeak server which is 8767 minus v which is the service so in this case it's TeamSpeak and then right beside that we put the IP address now you're gonna press enter now see I told you I was tired well uh, what I did wrong was supposed to put the IP address first and then to speak at the end because I am a dunce cap so that's what you do instead my bad sorry folks da 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 ba da ba da ba boom looks like we got it host name login Lenore password you bitch okay so that concludes my tutorial on running Hydra uh... Tutsaras, Coda, do a barrel, can't find a barrel, where's the barrel roll?